What's up everyone, it's Kills. I know it's been a while since I've put out a video or streamed. Uh, I've been doing nothing but grinding here lately. Been trying to get everything done. That way I can spend more time doing ranked seasons instead of, you know, grinding stuff out and then waiting days in between to play. Like I figured I'd do it all at once and then take a day off and then get right into the gameplay of ranked seasons which I'm going to start that tomorrow because I'm tired as hell from grinding stuff out for that long but uh I've already done this video once and then the first video I went through the team update first and then I went and done a pack opening you know just opening up program packs and stuff like that but uh, I spent too much time in the team update, so I'm actually going to go, you know, cut the the pack opening and put it first, and then get into the team update after that. And for some reason here lately, packs have been really freaking hot for me. Like, coming from someone that has not pulled a good freaking thing all year up until yesterday... It's it's crazy just how everything changes and it's just so freaking luck based. <laughs> it really is. But I'm going to go ahead and cut over to the pack opening and then after that I'll just pick it right back up here. Alright, these are the packs that I had yesterday that I opened up after I finished uh, doing the conquest for the second part. I'm going to... I saved the recording of it. I just didn't have my headset plugged in to, to talk over it. So let's just jump straight into this one. Let's see, five standards, one program, one 10 pack, and one legend. So I didn't really pull anything special up until the very last pack, which I, I actually don't think it was the last pack now that I'm thinking of it. I think I had four more, and then I, I got so excited I just cut it, like saved it right then, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I didn't pull anything else after that, so it, it's the last pack you'll see right here until we get into the packs that I actually opened for this video. I just figured I would throw this one in too because this ended up being the first actual pull that I've had from a standard pack this year. You know, just a regular pack. And you can see on the 10-pack bundle that it says set one. Which, you know, the first set they come out with. And I didn't know it was possible to pull newer cards in older packs. So that kind of surprised me. You know, like I figured I was going to get one of the early ones or something. I don't want to spoil it right now. But I got Frazier as my topper, so I mean, so far it's been like Justin Upton, and Frazier, and Liam Hendricks, I think. And a, a gold sponsorship or bat. It was one of those two. Or, there's the gold bat, my bad. Got the breakout Calhoun, which I already had. So, I mean. Up to this point, it's just really been nothing special. You know, just ordinary pack luck for me. Like, uh, I opened up all these, and it was at this point... Like, I got two of those the duplicates. It was at this point that I backed out and then went back in. I had six packs left. And there it is. The first diamond that I've pulled... This year, and it's 99 overall, Raleigh Fingers, which I'm really liking so far. Uh, I didn't know it was possible to pull, you know, cards that have been released after, you know, in an earlier previous set pack, which that kind of surprised me, you know, like I, I got Raleigh Fingers in a set one bundle. I, I didn't expect that, but all right, we're going to jump into the the pack opening from for this video can't talk all right let's go ahead 
Okay, we've got a diamond player on the first fucking pack. Are you kidding me? Fucking Daniel Murphy. Are you serious? Really, dude. Well, I'll sell him because I've, <laughs> I've already got him. He was the one I was debating putting on my bench. <laughs> Just because I do well with him. Alright, well, I guess that's a good sign. I, I don't know, though. It's pretty good. Not really. Alright, let's tear into these program packs. I've got lucky off of a few program packs. And uh, I pulled Stanton when he was a gold. Actually, right whenever the Felix mission come out and you needed to do... Or, or not the Felix, my bad. Uh, the Hanley program. Uh, when you needed to do the Marlins team epic, I didn't have Stanton, and lucky, like luckily, I pulled Stanton in a program pack <laughs> while I was doing that, so I didn't have to buy him. Okay, we're getting another fucking diamond. Like this is fucking crazy. Votto, fuck yeah, dude. That. That's three diamonds in two days. Hell yeah. I can't sell him though. I can't sell Murphy. That is right. No wait. Murphy come in the standard pack. I can't sell Votto. Uh, crap. Well, we got 21 more to go. Nothing so far. Just kidding. Oh, I'm just being stupid. Uh, Duval's are uh, 18 more. See if we can pull another diamond. That would be uh, amazing. Hopefully, if I do pull another one, it's somebody that I really need. Because that's about the only way. Ah, oh, damn, I can't sell that. It's about the only way I'm going to pull Trout or Harper or anyone like that. Is from a pack. And I don't buy packs. I, I think it's a waste. Alright, we got 14. Come on. Oh, shit. 13. Well, I can't really complain. I mean, Votto's really good. I'll probably put him on the bench instead of uh, Floyd. Like, I, I hit really well with Votto. I just. He would only be used as a pinch hitter, though. Come on. We got 10 packs left. Server is a little slow right now. Let's just back out and go back in. <laughs> Start doing rituals or some shit. To try to get diamonds. Pulling Chapman would be really good too. Or, or Batances. Even though I don't need Batances. Uh, no, don't, don't give me Batances. <laughs> I don't I don't need him. Oh, come on, come on. You can give me two right off the bat and nothing else. Alright. We got five packs left. Nate Corns. Damn, I, I wish I could sell some of these. I've only got 30,000 subs. Which I guess that's not bad. Considering I just had like a uh, 4,000 earlier today. Oh, come on. We got two packs left after this one. Alright. Down to the final two. I pulled a breakout. Hopefully it's someone that I do not fucking have. But 
Of course it is. Alright, last pack. And three bronze and a common. It's still pretty good, though. Okay, yeah, for some reason, packs have been pretty good lately. And that was an example. You know, the, the first pack, I pulled a diamond. Unfortunately, it was the player I already had. But then, you know, just a couple of packs in, I ended up pulling what I consider is the best live first baseman in the game, which is somebody that I didn't have and somebody that I, I really didn't need. But I, I guess I could use him. I, I could put Hanley on the bench, move Miggy to third, and put Votto at first. I could do that for a while if I start struggling with Hanley or, or Miggy at himself like I could just put Miggy on the bench as stupid as that sounds but uh like I said earlier I spent too much time going through the team update I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can and you know explain shit the best I can within a small amount of time so let's just jump right into it now, as of right now, I'm not completely happy with my rotation. Uh, I've only used Bob Feller once, and that was in, or twice actually, and uh, both of those were in Conquest games. I was trying to finish out getting the hits for Will Clark so I could get Maurer. And uh, in the first game, I was playing on, well, I was trying to get the hits with Maurer and then get the rest of the fielding assists I needed for Robinson. And uh, I was playing on Hall of Fame, and he ended up giving up a three-run home run. But other than that, he was all right. But I really don't know if I like him yet. He throws really hard. He's got a good curve and a good slider. But I, just, I don't know right now. I, I'm going to keep using him for now. But I may end up just putting Roy back in because Roy's someone that I know I can use. And then, well, let's just do it this way. I, I've got Necro as my ace, which, you know, he, he's a lower overall than the, the other four. But he's a knuckleballer. And in this game, like, those are just cheese. <laughs> he, he's really good. So, yeah, he's my ace. And then I've got Goodry, who I've only used one time, so I don't know if I like him or not yet. And then I've got Blue, Felix, which I'm absolutely sick of. I don't know why they made this Felix this bad. If they would have just given us the same one from last year, he would probably be my ace. But this one's crazy. Like, I don't understand how you can go... Throw a 91 mile per hour fastball, turn around, follow it up with a 91 mile per hour sinker, and then turn around and follow that with an 89 mile per hour changeup. Like, that is just stupid. His sweeping curve isn't really that damn good. Uh, his slider isn't really that good. His changeup is alright. Uh, so, like I said, it's. Like 89 miles per hour though. And you can throw a 91 mile per hour fastball. So there's not much deception there. But his his sinker's good at least. <laughs> at least that's good. But that's my rotation for now. Let's just jump right into the relievers. Try to get this over with. Uh, I've got Joe Nathan. Which last year Joe Nathan was like what? The second best closer in the game. With Wainwright being number one and uh, Nathan being number two. I didn't have Nathan last year. I had Wainwright. And as much as I spent on Wainwright, I didn't want to get Nathan and, you know, undervalue or whatever Wainwright. But this Nathan's actually really good. He's got a good pitch selection. I really like him. Uh, I've been thinking about getting rid of Britain. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I was thinking about picking up Felipe Rivero from the ticket counter. I, I don't know. And then 
you know, yesterday I ended up pulling Raleigh Fingers, and that was from uh, the 10-pack bundle that you get for doing Conquest, and I, I'm pretty sure it was a set one bundle, and I didn't think that you could pull newer cards out of older packs, but I guess you can because I, I ended up getting Raleigh Fingers. Unless I just can't remember right and it come from a standard pack. Like the one they give you for free every day. But I, I want to say it come from that 10 pack. I, I've still got the video recording. I, I know I th threw it in the video as well. But as of right now, like I, like I said, I was going to put the video of the pack opening first. So I haven't actually seen it yet. <laughs> uh... But yeah, Raleigh's really good. He's got a really good sinker. His slider's amazing. He throws like 93 to 95. Uh, and that splitter is not bad either. But it's not something I would rely on. And then Doolittle, which for some reason I really like. And Gagne, he's, he's good. I like his pitch selection. He does, I think I threw 90, I've topped out at like 97 with him, but that was at Coors Field, so I really don't know what his average speed is. Uh, Miller, I, I've been thinking about getting rid of Britton or Miller. Britton has a really good sinker. Miller's got two fastballs and a slider. And, of course, Felipe would replace the one that I got rid of out of those two. I really like Miller, but with two fastballs and a slider, you know, people are just going to sit on one. And if they're waiting on it, they're going to have a really good chance to hit it hard. And then the closer is Kenley Jansen. And so far, as much as I've used him uh, online... Like, he, he's been dominant. Uh, I bring him in at the end of the game, and he just shuts shit down. <laughs> but against the computer, that's a different story. Because for some reason, I keep playing on Legend and Hall of Fame, and he gets hit kind of hard. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he's amazing. Uh, I'm glad I picked him up, actually. Um, let's just jump straight in to the lineup next. Yeah. Yeah, screw it. Leading off, I've got Ellsbury. And last year, Ellsbury was one of my favorite cards to use. Last year, they had the, the rookie to prom mission. Like, you could get the rookie card and then do uh, missions, and it would turn into the prom. Uh, I got the rookie Ellsbury last year as a six-win NBR, which... Looking back, that ended up being, like, probably the best reward I got out of BR. And it come from, you know, just getting six wins. Uh, I used him from the time that I finished the mission, you know, all the way to the end. Uh, he actually hit second in my lineup because Mookie hit first. And Ellsbury will probably be one that will stay in my lineup for the rest of the year. Okay, hitting second. I've got Hanley right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave it that way, but for now, that's where he's at, and it's just because I do so well with Hanley. I mean, he, he's a freaking offensive beast, but a defensive bum, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, 591 at bats. He's hitting 443 with 67 home runs. Uh, slugging 873. Like I, I just do really well with Hanley, and that's one reason why I've got him in my lineup right now. And at third base, uh, to beat it all. Uh, third, I've got Maurer. Uh, I, I don't know if Maurer's going to stay there. I might end up moving my career to player. You know, there and then moving Mauer to where my creative player was. But right now, I've got four at-bats with Mauer. And he's got two hits, and both of those have been beast-ass 
bombs. So, so far, Maller has been a beast. And last year, he was actually, like, down batting, like, at seventh in my lineup. Which, I mean, this is a completely different team than last year because this one... This one's just as good as last year, but last year I had better players. Like, this year, like, my my squad attributes are pretty similar to last year's. Bat and clean up, I've got Miggy. Uh, I've got him at first base. I, I've not used him. Just look at that, man. He's He's a beast. I don't know if speed... Uh, and reaction, you know, have anything to do with each other in the infield. I know it does in the outfield. You know, like you can have really good speed with a, a crappy reaction, and you're still going to have good reaction, you know, be able to get that jump quicker. I don't know if it's like that in the infield. If it was, then that's why I would have Hanley at third base instead of Miggy. But if it wasn't, I think it would probably make more sense to have Miggy at third and then just throw Hanley at first. But since I'm not sure, I'm just going to leave it the way it is now. Since he plays first and Hanley doesn't, I don't like playing people out of position. Uh, I'm not one of those people, so I'll, I'll leave it like this. I've got a cold too, so if my voice is cracking up, like that's why... But I've got my creative player batting fist. It's nothing special. Just, you know, normal creative player stuff. Uh, at short, I've got Ripken. And until like a week ago, I wasn't really sure if I would keep Ripken at short. Uh, I was actually planning on moving Hanley to short and then putting Miggy at third whenever I got Miggy. But here lately... You know, th there's been a few people that said that they went in and actually fixed his swing. And it kind of seems like it because he's been doing really damn well lately. And I wasn't doing that good with him, you know, up until like a week ago. He was still hitting, you know, right at, like right at 300. But the last few games I've played with him, he's had multiple home runs in each each one of them. So I think I'm just going to keep ripking it short for for a while now. I mean, if they really fixed him, then that's that that's good. Like that was the only thing that was wrong with him is just he had too much top spin. And then in right field, it probably makes no sense to still be using him. But I've got Reggie Jackson, and. As of right now, Reggie Jackson has been used the most out of anyone in my on my squad. Uh, a thousand thirty-one at bats. He's hitting three seventy-six. He's got one hundred and twenty-six home runs. You know, still slugging eight seventy-six. I didn't think that I would like Reggie that much when I first got him, <clears throat> but after. You know, using him for so long and seeing how good he was and, like, how nice his swing was. It's going to be hard for me to ever take him out of my lineup. You know, just for the fact that he does so well. And I've not really had that many defensive meltdowns with him. He's had five errors in 416 games. So, you hate errors, but that's not really that much. And I do have him in rod anyways, so it's all right. And then in left, I've got Andrew McCutcheon. And I really do like Andrew McCutcheon. I actually hit righties better than I do lefties. Well, no, no, I don't. I have more home runs against righties than I do lefties. I, I hit lefties better than I do righties than them, like average-wise. But I really like Andrew McCutcheon. I like his swing. Uh, he's got decent speed, decent, I mean, good fielding for a center fielder. But I've got him in left just because he has a better arm than Jackson does. 
and a little bit better speed and field. And uh, if I end up replacing anyone in my outfield, Kutch will probably be the first one to go. And I know I could replace him with someone that's, you know, maybe a little better. But at the same time, like, I do well with McCutcheon, so I don't want to go and make some stupid purchase just for one or two more points in an overall. I like Kutch, and he'll probably be there for a while until someone gets released that's better. And I don't know if that 99 overall uh, Jackie Robinson can play the outfield. That might be, that could be a, a replacement. I don't know if he does, though. But on the bench, I've got Brooks Robinson. And as of right now, uh, I've not used him. He's got amazing defense for a third baseman. Plus, his hitting attributes aren't bad as well. But as of right now... <laughs> I'm just going to use him as a late game defensive substitution and a pinch hitter with occasionally switching him and Hanley out just to try to get a feel for him. And, you know, I, I don't know. I might end up doing better with Robinson than I do Hanley. And then I could just put Robinson at third and leave him and put Hanley on the bench or something and just use Hanley as a pinch hitter, kind of like I did uh that prom Bautista last year. Okay, every time I brought him in the game, it was like a home run. But I only used him as a pinch hitter. But that's my plan with him for now. I've got the the ticket counter Floyd. And to begin with, I hated this card. His strike zone is so freaking big. And everything I would get a hold of, it would be hit hard, but they were outs. But here lately, he's been picking it up. And I used him, you know, to grind out some of the Robinson program. Hey, he's picked it up lately. So I'm going to just leave him on the bench, you know, give him some pinch hit opportunities. I don't know. I might replace Jackson with him. But as of right now, he's just on the bench. And then I've got Ron Sandberg, and I really do like Ron Sandberg. Uh, it just, it makes more sense for me to use my creative player at second over Sandberg, you know, for the switch hit aspect. Plus, my creative player hits lefties better, has better f defense, better speed. But in all honesty, I really don't like using a creative player. I didn't use it mine last year. I just... I don't like having a creative player, but at the same time, if you're going to play people and they're using theirs, you're, you're going to need yours, and th that's why he's on the bench. Like, he's hitting 395 in 233 at-bats. At I can't talk. Slugging 897. Uh, he's got 23 home runs against righties and 10 against lefties. Which is about what I expected. I knew I would still be able to hit home runs against lefties with the 77 power. And with that 87 vision, it helps keep, you know, the PCI at a relatively usable size against lefties. You know, when you're playing on like Hall of Fame difficulty and stuff like that. Uh, you would look at him and think that the 55 contact would just make it hard as hell, but... The vision helps balance it out a little bit. And he's a really solid second baseman. And then I've got Lou Brock straight up just for speed. Uh, that's it. And he was another one. When I first got him, I couldn't hit shit with him. Uh, I actually took him off my bench for a while just because I couldn't hit. But here lately he's been killing it like in 80 at bats he's hitting 450 he's slugging 788 with six home runs which you know it's not much but i mean if i ever get into a slump with jackson i could put him in 
uh, if I don't put Floyd in, because he's doing well right now. And then finally, I've got Victor Martinez. And, you know, I've got Miggy at first and Maurer at catcher. Uh, I used V-Mart at catcher from the time he first dropped in the ticket counter until I got Maurer and put him in. Uh, he never played any other position. And I really like him. You know, 812 at-bats. He was hitting 383 with 86 home runs. Slugging 787. He had 54 home runs against righties and 32 against lefties. And uh, defensively, you know, he's got bad defensive attributes. But in all that time, how many games? 354 games. He only had six pass balls. And that was actually five all the way up until tonight. Like, I don't think I've had a pass ball with him within like the last month until tonight whenever he finally got his last one. And since there's no other place to put him, he's on the bench. Uh, use him as a pinch hitter, I guess. I mean, he's a switch hitter. It's like the best pinch hitting situation you can get. But that's my team for now. Um, I did pull that Votto. Votto's a really good player. So I might I might actually end up putting Votto in for I don't know if I'm gonna take Brock out just because he's fast as shit. So I might end up taking Floyd out and putting Votto in. I, I guess. I mean, if I ever get to a point where I can't hit with Miggy, I'll put Votto at first and, you know, Miggy on the bench or something. Or if I start s struggling with Hanley, I'll put Miggy at third and put Votto at first. So I, I don't know. I wish I would have got, like, a r trout. <laughs> that would have been nice. Like, this would have been a lot easier because... Cutch would probably be out right now, <laughs> but yeah, it's all right. Like I'm just surprised that I ended up getting Raleigh Fangers, Daniel Murphy, and Joey Votto within a day. Uh, I mean, it was yesterday afternoon when I pulled Raleigh, and then tonight Murphy, who I already had, and Votto, but. I mean, as of now, that's my team. Starting tomorrow night, I'm going to start streaming again. And uh, I'm going to make my ranked season run. I'm not really interested in doing the event. Cargo would be a good replacement for Jackson. I just don't feel like doing 50 fucking wins again. Like, that shit... After grinding all this out, there's no way... And they always, you know, release it like that to where if you play the game and don't spend any money, like, you are constantly grinding stuff out. And they release it, you know, to where you get a new season and then you get new programs to grind out. And then, so while you're grinding out the programs or right as soon as you finish it, an event comes out. And then if you want the player that, you know, you can get from the event, you got to grind that out. And then after that, like, you've got, like, a week until the, the rank season ends or something. It's, it, it does get a little, to be a little bit too much. And then here recently with them adding the new CPU missions, which I'm not even going to do because 30 games against the computer. And honestly, Adam Wainwright would be the only one I'd want. And then adding Maurer, you know, the Conquest Part 2. God, that's just too much. So, I'm done. Like, I'm done grinding for a while. I might try to finish Griffey, uh, 
I really don't know. I've kind of waited too long for that one. I don't have much to do within it, though. I, uh, you know, I've got to do this against the computer, get a home run with Ricky Griffey uh, in ranked seasons, and then get that with the breakout Griffey, collect them, uh, collect his gear, which that would be the last thing you do since you get the cleats anyways. Uh, you, the teams exchange center fielders and win, you know, 28 Battle Royale games. Or 18 Battle Royale games, my bad. And th honestly, that's not much. Like, I, I could do that. All of that. Except for this. And uh, because to get this one, you have to do the, the All-Star Crab, which is in the player spotlight. And I, I can't really remember what it is. So without those two, I could do the rest of those within like a day or two. Uh, it wouldn't take much to finish it. I just really don't feel like doing it. But alright, guys. Uh, I'm going to stream tomorrow night. It'll probably be around 6 p.m. Uh, it'll probably... Well, yeah, I'll be streaming on Twitch. I I've never streamed on YouTube. But anyways, you all have a great night. Alright, see you.